Hey, how's it going? Master Chuck Goss from Michigan. Uh, my buddy Brian Johns from Oshawa, Ontario. I do some empty hand self defense, stuff a little bit different. Uh, i show you some basic, basic self defense. So, in other words, somebody grabs on you, how do you defend yourself? We're not going to do any pressure points or anything, we're just going to do some basic our knees. Okay, so let's start with just a, a basic grab. You grab down, we're just going to set that lock. Very simple. Grab the same side, you do the same lock, bring it in and lock. He grabs with the other hand, you have the same lock. You grab here, same lock. You have an open body lock, you just grab in and inject. That's always a good one too. If he, if he uh, grabs on with you cross hand, you have the two finger locks. You, you can do the dance of pain from here and inject. Now you have, I see now from here you can throw. Now I can pick it back up. The lock is moving to wherever I need to move them. If I don't need to move them and I'm tired or got more people coming, I can always just put them right back. Okay? If he were to grab onto my neck, you know, choking, there's a bunch of different ways, but I can push here, check and punch. I can reach up and grab, do set a lock. Now I can lock out again. Now from here I can throw. Okay? So there's a lot of different ways to protect yourself. Very, very easy to do, but you have to take the time. I'm not teaching you techniques here, I'm demonstrating some self-defense, okay? <clears throat> you have to understand that each one of these techniques takes time to learn and practice repetition in a safe environment, okay? <clears throat> if you were to throw a punch at me, you know, I can carry this top of my elbow, I can come in here and do come along. Again, I can come here and just do compressed elbow, knee to the face, mobility throw, okay? Or I can go the other way, and go back to the over here. A lot of ways to protect yourself. Same thing as if he has a knife. Now, I'm not saying that we're teaching knife fighting or anything else. But in a real situation, if you don't know how to protect yourself, you may have problems. If he slashes at me, I can protect myself. See, now I have this. Here's the knife. One more time. He does this. I can come in here. Now I can pull the knife out. Okay? So these are just some of the self-defense things that we teach here in my school and a lot of the other modern in these places, but what you have to understand, it takes practice. You know, check us out on YouTube, a lot of videos there. Check us out on Facebook. We have all kinds of seminars coming up, got camp, everything. Okay? Alright, thanks a lot.